Right now at five, a massive manhunt underway for the man who shot a tribal officer in Camp Verde. That officer just identified as Officer Preston Brogdon. FBI agents are right now taking over the case. Officer Brogdon shot last night, 90 minutes north of the valley near State Route 260 and Cherry Creek Road. He was immediately airlifted to a hospital here in Phoenix, and that's where he remains here this evening. Amy Cutler is live in Camp Verde with new information just coming in, Amy, on the suspect and also on the officer's condition. That's right, Jared. We are told by authorities that the officer remains in critical but stable condition. We understand he was shot once, and they tell us he will need multiple surgeries moving forward. As for the suspect, the search continues. By air and on the ground, the FBI joining, working with several other agencies to track down the shooter who critically injured Yavapai Apache police officer Preston Brogdon. I was nervous nervous. We just stayed stayed on the ranch. I'm scared for the suspect that he's still on loose and my kids are not safe right now. At the urging of authorities, many neighbors spent their day inside. Investigators checking homes and cars. It all started around 7.30 Wednesday evening when officers responded to a call of shots fired near the Thule housing area of the reservation. Once there, they say the suspect got out of a car and started to run away. That person started shooting. Officer Brogdon, a five-year veteran of the department, hit. He was airlifted to Honor Health Hospital in Deer Valley in critical but stable condition. It's a tight community, especially the nation. They're very tight. Not really shocking for these days, but it is shocking for here. The FBI releasing this photo of a person of interest in the case. It's 39-year-old Valentin Rodriguez, 5'9", 160 pounds. They say he may be connected to the tribe. Authorities also setting up a checkpoint at the exit of the reservation, searching vehicles before they leave. Um, I believe they're doing the best they can. I'm hoping that, like, I don't like him being on the loose with my children out, so I'm hoping that they'll apprehend him soon. Now, investigators in this case are offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of the shooter. Investigators very clear in saying they will work this case round the clock until the shooter is in custody. Live in Camp Verde, Amy Cutler, Arizona's family.